video we'll see what are the different iOS versions from Cisco uh, which are used in the Cisco routers like mostly you will be aware of Cisco iOS versions iOS which is commonly used on most of the edge routers or the access routers on the customer end and generally we call it as ISR routers and they do routing even switching inter inter networking as well as uh, support some kind of telecommunications like VoIP options and allows you to do multitasking operating system. So here we, we, we don't really get into the iOS because uh, at this point of time I know I expect you to know already some of the iOS features like in most of the Cisco iOS routers. So the other, other form of iOS versions from Cisco there is something called iOS XE and then we have iOS XR. Now this iOS XE uh, is the iOS version commonly used uh, the first it was implemented on the ASR 1000 series it looks more like an iOS which means most of the configuration commands uh, may look similar to the iOS what we used but again there are some enhancements like improved uh, service integration now this this is something like a form of iOS version which is uh, improvised to support most of the new features and it was first run uh, in the ASR 1000 series routers and at the same time they do support some advanced high availability options like non-stop forwarding and stateful switch failover. Now these features actually ensures that let's say if the router is, pro is forwarding some kind of traffic and due to some reason there is some, some failure uh, probably they do support some, some kind of redundant processors which will allow you to switch the traffic to a redundant processor and ensures that there is no uh, there is no downtime or minimize the downtime uh, in general. So this is very important, especially in some of the service portal networks or at the major network backbone where you need to have some kind of redundancy at the same time. You need to ensure that these routers are actually highly available if there is any failure of any of the components. So it still uses the same uh, skills like most of the commands look similar to the Cisco IWAS. Uh, additionally, it adds some additional benefits and the features which are not present in the iOS versions and also deploy uh, deploying most of the services faster and uses the universal image, the common image for most of the routing switching as well as the VYP applications. At the same time, some of the security features, they all separate on one single common common image. Now, the next thing we'll, we'll talk about the iOS XR. Now iOS XR is something what we are going to see in most of the service portal scenarios uh, which are typically implemented in these platforms like CRS uh, routers as well as ASR XR XR 12000 series routers. Now these routers and this image is specially designed or aimed at large service portal networks like uh, large service portal networks like these are the different platforms where we generally use this uh, XR iOS. Again, the same features like improve improves high availability. Mostly, the same features supports here with a better scalability here. At the same time, additional it supports some kind of package uh, based software distribution. Uh, it means that the software, the XR software, is actually divided into software packages. Like there are different software packages here, so that you can selectively add a selected features where you don't really need to install all the softwares or all the features, you can selectively add a selected features, we can say, so something like that. So ability to install the packages, now packages, so packages is just like we can, we can run a specific features and we can activate, add or just disable selected features or the specific features inside the XR. Apart from that, it also supports something like software upgrades and the patches. Now, software uh, upgrade means, a, like, let's say the Cisco releases some some new uh, patch, like generally you will see in the Windows operating systems, like new patches or the upgrades which will fix some of the bugs. So probably what you can do is you can do these upgrades and uh, add some patches to the existing operating systems to fix those bugs, and this can be done uh, while the router is running. Means you it supports something called uh, in-service software upgrade which is a feature which allows you to upgrade the patches without really need to reboot the machine or uh, still still the router can forward the traffic while it is upgrading the patches. 
Now, additionally, uh, it also supports some kind of web-based GUI management, GUI where you can manage the router, just like you can monitor the router performance or, or just monitoring the performance of the router by using some kind of uh, graphical interfaces, which is easy to read. At the same time, monitor the software's packages and the hardware components, and also the, uh, the working condition of the route processors, as well as some of the show outputs.